Okay, before this week's video, I have a self-serving commercial first. I'd like you to check out my great-granddaughter's channel. She just uh, put up a new video of her and her little sister. The uh, link will be in the description below. Thank you. Now on to my video. What Eddie? I don't care about Eddie. Who the hell is Eddie? Yeah, Social Security Administration. Can I help you? Yes, I got a call to call this number about my Social Security uh, illegal activity, it said. Can I have a name, please? Yes, my first name is Burton. B-U-R-T-A-N. Last name, pardon? Ernie. E-R-N-I-E. Burton Ernie. E-R-E? E-R-N-I-E. Okay, Mr. Ernie, can you help me out with the last four of a social so that I can check it out into my system? One, four, six, three. <clears throat> okay, hold the line, okay? Let me check it out, okay, oh, sir? Okay. And you got the message on your cell phone or your home phone, Mr. Ernie? No, my home phone. And right now you're calling me from your home phone? No, now I'm using my cell phone, but it was on my machine okay, on my home phone. Okay, can you please verify me your cell phone number so that I can check it out into my system? Yes. It's 315. Mm. Uh-huh. Why are you lying with me, sir? I'm not lying. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I need your cell phone number. This is my cell phone number. And what's your landline number? 315-203-3259. Okay, so first you've given me your landline and after that you're doing me the cell phone, right? Right, I'm on my cell phone now. But the call came in okay. on my land. The uh, call came in on my house phone and it was on the machine. What came? It was on my voice machine at home. What came in your voice machine? The message to call you. Okay. So, Mr. Arne, this call is to inform you regarding some legal enforcement actions against your name and against your social security number. So regarding this, we have got an order to suspend your social on immediate basis and block your bank account right now because your social has been found suspicious for committing some fraudulent activities in the state of South Dakota. So are you aware South about this situation, Mr. Arne? Oh no, South Dakota, I'm in New York. I'm not in South Dakota. Yes, but we have received a complaint over here. So are you aware about this situation, first of all? No, that's why I called you, to see what it was about. I don't know. Can you please grab a pen and a piece of paper handy? I can provide you some important information about this case, which you can write it down and note it down. Okay, go ahead. Just write down your case ID number first. Your case ID number is C as in Charlie, A as in Apple. Okay. 468-5631. Okay. And your warrant ID number is CA6931. Warrant, warrant, warrant for who? Your warrant, sir. Again, on your name. Why have I got a warrant? I will explain to you, okay, Mr. Ernie? Okay. Just write down the warrant ID number. Right. Warrant ID number is CA6931. Okay. And you can also write down my name, Officer Douglas Black. Douglas Black, okay. All right. And my batch ID oh. number is... My batch ID okay. number is SSA971. SSA971, okay. okay. Now, have you ever been to the state of No? You there? Yes, I'm here, yes. Okay, have you ever been to the South Dakota before? Oh, yeah, I've been everywhere. When did you went to South Dakota? Oh, years ago when I was working, I was a hand model, and I, I used to travel around the country. I've been to Reno, Chicago, Fargo, Minnesota, Buffalo, Toronto, Winslow, Sarasota, Wichita. I've been everywhere, man. Huh. Uh, I, I, okay, so let me I was go. a hand model. Okay, and, uh, okay. So I, they had me go okay. go to these different places and model. My, my, my stage name was uh, Rosie Palm. Okay, so let me go ahead and explain you the situation about this case. Okay. Before that, I want to inform you that the line on which we are talking right now is totally recorded by Social Security Administration okay. and Law and uh, Law and Enforcement Agency. Agency. Okay. okay. So, 
Make right. sure whatever you say or you commit must be honest and true. Oh, I will. I will I, give you. Yes, I wouldn't lie. Fair. Yes. I will give okay. you fair enough chance to speak okay, or chance. ask as many as questions you have. But okay. after I am done, okay? Okay. Is that clear? Now, Mr. Arnie, so the investigation started under your name and your social security number. When we recovered an abandoned car in the south border of South Dakota, the what's model the of that border, car was south Dakota. Toyota, South Dakota. Yeah, what's on the border? What's a border? I don't even know what a border is. The border means the end. The end. The end, south yeah. But end. What's the end? What's okay. it end on? I don't know. I'd have to look at a map. Uh, what state? But I'm explaining you each and everything. Okay. I will explain you each and everything. Well, I'm trying to worried, understand. Okay? Now, I'm, uh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm okay, trying you're to trying understand. to understand. Sir, Mr. Ernie, we are in the recorded line. I request you don't interrupt me between, okay? Please. All right. Because this this recordings we have to show in front of the judge. That okay. is the reason as the evidence we have to show this recordings, okay? So I request you once again, don't interrupt me between, okay? This recordings we have to show in front of the judge. That okay. is the reason as the evidence we have to show this recordings, okay? So I request you once again, don't interrupt me between, okay? Okay. Okay. We have found a car, the model car was Toyota Corolla. That car was idle on the streets. And when the local authorities have reported about that car, they found some blood and drugs inside the car, okay. which made them totally enthralling and shocked. Enthralling. Hence, after investigation, okay. they found that the car was rented under your name and your social security number, and there are two addresses linked with the title of the vehicle. Okay. On the two addresses, our officer, Mr. Richmond, and Mr. Mr. U.S. Marshals and FBI, have Mr. raided US over there, Marshall. but okay. unfortunately there was no one inside the residence. Are oh. you with me? Yes, I'm trying to understand here. I... We're talking about the FBI and the okay. U.S. Marshal, and I don't know. Listen to me, okay? Yes, there was I'm no trying... one inside the residence. Okay, nobody was but home. We, we... Don't, sir, sir, no need to say okay, okay every time, okay? Well, Just I'm listen not... to me. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Okay. No one inside the... Sir, no, please. I didn't say anything. No one inside the residence. Okay, but we recovered a consignment of 22 pounds of cocaine, which is an illegal oh. drug, as well as we found some documents which relates to financial institutions like Bank of America, U.S. Bank, Chase Bank, TD Bank, Wells Fargo, couple of credit union, etc. I, that titty was bank is my totally bank. under your name. I, I only use Titty okay. Bank. That was totally under your name and your social security number. Now the okay. question arises. Okay. When we are investigating with those financial institutes okay. and we found thousands of dollars being wired from those accounts locally and internationally, which totally seems suspicious to us because all those transactions were made to the narco trafficking and terrorist countries like Mexico, Colombia and Pakistan. So right now your name is under federal investigation in the state of South Dakota with three criminal charges pressed against your name, which is drug trafficking, money laundering, and supporting to terrorism. Terrorism? As we are having very short time. How am I supporting terrorism? having very short time. How am I supporting terrorism? what you have... Sir, 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 I have not completed yet, okay, okay please. Okay, complete, complete. Okay. I, I just don't support terrorism. As we are having very short time, and what you have done was totally against the law of U.S. I, Treasury. I, I and we have to sign the arrest warrant against your name. And we have to suspend your social security number right away and block your bank account. According to Section 42, Subsection C of 1958, Drug Enforcement Administration Act, oh. you are going to be taken for non-bailable jail what? for a term of 9 years or 10 years. I can't or go more to jail for 9 or 10 years. I'm penalty, 71 years old. I can't go to jail. Now, and the penalty, sir, the penalty should be more than seventy to 80000 or $98,000. Now, Mr. Ernie, particularly yes. for this reason, two of our officers were having watch on you since last two to three days. Uh -oh. And your phone calls were also being tapped by them and monitored by them, oh. the officers. They but tapped my phone? They didn't find... They didn't sound suspicious in your daily routine. From that investigation, we came to know that you might be 
or you might not be involved in this case and it can also be a matter of identity theft i have a quick questions for you and i hope you will be honest with me on this I recorded will. line okay what so mr er ernie what ernie have you ever lost your wallet or any personal information in past few years yeah i lost my wallet a couple of years ago okay have you ever entered your personal information on any unknown website over the internet no do you suspect someone who can do this kind of activity like your friends family member or uh, grover, any of your colleagues grover, do you have any doubt uh, on anyone uh, grover lives down the street from me i don't i think he's been in a little trouble before grover and uh I, grover I, right I, yes grover I'm not sure of his last name. He never says it. That, that makes me suspicious, too, because I don't even know Grover's last okay. name, and he lives right down the street. Okay, we will uh, we will investigate. Don't worry, okay? Okay. So we just gone through your past records, Mr. Arnie, mm -hmm. and we found your past records are good. Yeah, That yeah. is the only reason we, we tried to reach you before you face any legal consequences. Okay. So in this case, what we're going to do, we will suspend your social security number oh, right you, now oh, you can't to catch out the re I get social security. Sir, sir listen to I me. I get social security, sir. Sir, listen to me. Sir, okay, listen to I me. I have so, not completed yet. I just want you yet. to know that I get social sir, listen. security. L yes, okay, 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 okay. Listen to me, okay? Yes. In this case, we are going to suspend your social security number right now to catch the real culprit. So but that what we can about my social security? And put I have not completed yet, sir. Oh, but I'm worried about my Social Security. I get Social Security. Okay. You don't understand. That's what I live on. That's what I live on. Okay. Listen to me. I said, listen to me, okay? Okay. We can catch the culprit and put him behind the bars. Okay. And we will issue the put new Social Security number. We will issue the... Okay. We will issue the new Social Security number to you within next 24 working hours. Okay? Oh, so okay. So that we can catch him. Our officers will be coming at your doorstep with a social security card and they will be providing you, okay? okay. Now, Mr. Ernie, what I, can, uh, what I can see over here that there are 22 bank accounts which has been listed under your social security number and we have got an order to suspend this 22 bank accounts, but right now we cannot do that because in this 22 bank accounts, your bank is also there, okay? So we have to differentiate your bank with this bogus bank account and we have to make sure that your bank will be safe and it will be not get freezed off, okay? So okay. can I know which bank you are banking with currently? Yeah, Sesame Mutual. Sorry? Sesame Mutual. It's a local bank. Can you, sp can you spell out for me? S-C-S-A-M-E Mutual, M-U-T-U-A-L. How long you're banking with this bank? Oh, years, years. With the checking small, and the savings? It's a small local, local bank. Yes, both. I have both there. Okay. Which other bank you're banking with? That's it. But you told me like TD Bank, something like TD that. TD Bank. You only bank with TD Bank. I used bank. to bank with TD Bank, but I forgot. I just had a small account there and I took it out of the TD and put it in the Sesame. So okay, now, I, really in the closed sesame. The, I really closed that TD. Okay, in uh, this mutual bank, what will be the approximate balance you'll be having in your checking account? Oh, I don't think I'm supposed to say that over the phone. I'm just asking you the approximate figure, sir. This is a case of money laundering, so I have to enter into my system, okay? So I can just make sure to the department, this is your hard-earned money, this is yeah. not the money of any kind of money laundering. No, it's not money laundering. Like it's that. not money laundering money, it's mine. But save. Okay, that's what. So before it gets freezed, that is the reason I'm helping you out, okay, Mr. Okay. Arnie? Okay. You got my point? Yes, I got probably 3000 in my checking. And the savings? Probably 8000 I've been saving it up. I want a new okay. car. And uh, do you have any credit card under your name? I have one card, a MasterCard, under my name, and it's from Sesame Mutual. What is the limit of the credit card? Five thousand, I think. And how much you owe to them? How much you use? I used it all. 
you use all yeah okay apart from this look mr oni i'm just verifying the asset i'm filling out the asset verification form if you are thinking why officer douglas is asking everything because i'm filling out the asset verification form which is okay. your money and which is drug trafficking money okay this is my so money so don't think like any okay so don't take me wrong okay don't take me wrong okay I'm not mr oni just okay. Okay, be positive. Okay. Now, Mr. Tony, mm -hmm. do you have any 401k or IRA or any money market investment or any retirement plans? No, being a hand model, I didn't have any of that stuff. I was on my own. I did so much traveling. I was in Boston, Charleston, Dayton, Louisiana, Washington, Houston, Kingston, Texas. I've been everywhere, man. But I never had a retirement. That's why I live on Social Security. And do you have any 401k plan? 401k? No, that would be, that's, I just told you, I don't have that. None of that, because I was everywhere. I was in Louisville, Nashville, Knoxville, oh, Jacksonville. I've been everywhere, man. But I, I never and had a the, 401k. And do you have the debit card for Sesame Bank, right? Yes, I do have one. Okay, no problem. Now, Mr. Ernie, as we agreed to cooperate with the Social Security Administration Department, I have to transfer this call to my senior officer with the Social Security Administration, who can help you out for further procedure to renew your new Social Security number and how you're going to safeguard your money. Yeah, okay? and how, uh, what, about, what about my, um, the Social Security I get every month? Will I still get that? If, he will be explaining you each and everything. Okay. You can ask him, okay? No oh, need yes, to worry, okay? okay. okay Hold the line. Okay. Make sure, make sure the line, the line will be going on a mute, mute. okay? Okay. So don't think that I have hanged, okay? Okay. One of the officer will be there to attend you, okay? Hold oh, the line. Okay, thank you. And he will help you out to how to, how to safeguard your money from Sesame Bank and how you will be receiving the new Social Security number, okay? Okay. Thank you for holding the line. Your call has been transferred to the senior restitution officer, Sean Taylor. I believe I'm speaking with uh, Bert and Ernie, correct? Yes. Uh, Mr. Ernie, I believe the officer would have explained you what exactly is going on under your name, under your social, correct, Bert? Yeah, they found something on the south border of S South Dakota, but I think Nebraska is... Okay, I'll make you understand. Nebraska is... Uh, I'll make you understand, okay? Ne I don't understand Mr. Ernie, the I'm gonna Nebraska make you understand. thing. Okay, go ahead. I'm Hello, I'm gonna make you understand, okay? Okay. Just hold on. Just hold on, okay? Hold on. All right. See, the thing is that, Mr. Burney, are you on a speakerphone? Your voice is breaking. Yes. Could you turn I have the speakerphone to, no, and talk? I, I have to do that, that because I'm hard better. of hearing, so I have to use this kind of phone. See the, and are you by yourself or somebody is with you? No, my cousin Eddie's here, but that's it. And he's listening to this call, right? Eddie? No, he's in the other room. He yeah. just he just got McDonald's. Okay, now let me. Uh, okay, I'll tell you. See, the thing is that someone is trying to use your personal information for identity, and right. had committed many fraudulent activity in the state, like drug trafficking and money laundering. Right. And so you know, more than two hundred thousand of dollars had been wired That's local and internationally yes. by using. Let me let me complete, okay? Okay, complete. And more than twenty two hundred thousand of dollars had been wired local and internationally by using twenty two bank accounts and thirteen credit cards. And our maturity, these twenty two bank accounts and thirteen credit cards is linked under your name under your social. Now whatever activities took place was completely against the law first. But that is why we have to sign the arrest warrant under your name and have to suspend your social right away by today. Now once this case goes to the courthouse, once you feel guilty, there's going to be a penalty charge on your $85,000. Oh, your bank account oh. is going to be shut down. You will be behind the bar for next oh, 10 oh, years, just, and you will not be able to receive just, each just, of Eddie, the Eddie, <laughs> Eddie, <laughs> Eddie, Eddie, get away from that bird. But, Leave the bird alone. Okay, go ahead. Oh, boy. But, sir, but, sir, in regards to this, the attorney, James O'Connor, the in charge of your case, he checked your documents, he checked your past record, he found out that your banking contains a genuine record and your social have no other complaints in the past. Keeping that in mind, Mr. Ernie, the attorney is giving you a chance to settle this case outside the courthouse before you face any legal consequences, okay? So what we're going to be doing, we're going to block your social which you're holding right now by today. 
And we're going to allot you a new what, social security I asked number the other by tomorrow. Fellow, because I, asked, people, I asked the other fellow, what about my social security that I get every month? That's all I live on. Sir, you will get everything, okay? Everything will be linked to your new social. Okay? Oh, okay. You will get all the benefits. You yeah. don't worry about that, okay? okay? Now, let me tell you one thing, okay? See, so to, uh, on, Monday, on Monday, we're going to set an appointment. One of the officers will come to you before 12 p.m. When he's going to come to your doorstep, he's going to give you a no-objection certificate letter. He will give you the paperwork no for the cancellation of your arrest warrant. And he will also give... No objection. If you stop talking, I can make... Hello, I'm, hello, right, I'm hello. writing this down. Listen to me, okay? You don't need no. to write it down. You don't need to write it down. Just listen to no me for a moment, okay? You will get letter. Okay. a certificate letter. Yes. The paperwork for the cancellation of this warrant. And you will also get the new social security number and the new social security card. It's going to be inside the envelope. Because once we do that, it will be very easy for us to catch the actual suspect and put him behind the bar within 72 hours and save you from such kind of criminal activities in future and get you out of this case. All right, Eddie? I mean, Ernie? Ernie, yes. Eddie's my cousin. I'm Ernie, yes. Okay, yeah. I'm Bert. I got it. No. Bert and Ernie. Let me yes. tell you one thing, Mr. Ernie. I'm a turn, uh, Ernie. See, as I said, this chance has been given to you by the attorney, not by the federal government. So there are certain conditions certain protocols which you have to follow till Monday, okay? okay? Till the time you don't get the new social security number, till the time you don't get the paperwork for the cancellation of your arrest warrant. I'll let you know what are the conditions, what are the protocols. Listen to me very carefully, okay? okay? Because if you want to resolve this matter, you have to follow the condition till Monday. You ready? I'll let you know what are the condition, Mr. Okay. Burden. Ready, you? sir? Okay. Number one, see, as a chance has been given to you by the attorney, we are not disclosing this case to any third government authority so that they come and take an action on you. We are giving you a chance to get your arrest warrant canceled and prove yourself innocent. Okay. Keeping your reputation and dignity in mind, Mr. Burden, yes. we are not informing this to your employers, to your creditors, and to the government bodies that you are affiliated with, that okay. there's a criminal allegation under your name, okay. so that your future benefit, your wages, income... I don't have any wages. I'm hampered. retired. My I told the other fellow this. I'm moment. retired. I was a head model. I'm... Stop talking. Now, listen to me. Sir, what I'm saying is, please so even you need me. To the same thing. Mr. Arnie, even you need to follow the same thing, okay? I'm trying. Till Monday, till the time you don't get the security number, till the time you don't get the paperwork for the cancellation of your arrest warrant, and till the time you're not out of this case, Mr. Ernie, you are not allowed to discuss about the case, okay, with any third person, not even with your cousin brother. It well, my cousin friend, Eddie knows about member, it. Nobody. Eddie, Eddie already now knows. You I, just told, I already told Eddie. When did you told? Is, is Eddie there right now? Yeah. Is Eddie there right now? Yeah. He's sitting next to you? No, is no. Is he sitting next to you? No, no, no. He's in the other room. Now, okay, now he's on, in the other room. Now you can lock that room, okay? If he asks lock you what happened to your social, tell him everything is fine, okay? Everything's fine, Eddie. No, sir. Eddie. No, no. Eddie, don't worry. Oh, I know you I know you're watching TV, Eddie. Go ahead. Okay. Okay, he's watching TV. Okay. So, sir, okay, just relax. So if he asks you what happened, tell him everything is fine, no. okay? So oh, till boy. Monday, oh. okay. till Monday, till Monday, you're not allowed to discuss about the case with any third person, okay? It includes your friend, your family member, your you're co-worker, your relative. Eddie. Not even, you're not, uh, sir, huh. listen, you're not allowed to discuss about it, okay? With your brother, because if you That's do that, cousin. your phone is being monitored, okay? That's what the other Your cousin, told yes, me. your cousin. Yes, well, sir. Yes. If you discuss about this case anymore with your cousin, this resolvement option will be closed for you, and you will be behind the bar. So don't oh, do I that, don't okay? Want... Till Monday, okay? Okay. Eddie, don't tell nobody about this. Boy. Are you mad? I'm telling you, don't say anything to your brother, and you sing your brother, don't tell anyone about it. It's my cousin. Eddie. It's your cousin, so what should I, what should I do? What, what uh, Eddie? I don't care about Eddie. Who the hell is Eddie? Eddie's my cousin. I take care of him. He's not right. I he got hit in the head with a brick. Sorry? Eddie, he's, I take care of him. He's not quite right. He, he worked construction, got hit in the head with a brick. So he lives with me. That's why he yells all the he time. He lives with you. Okay, he lives with Here? you. Oh, yeah. 
Okay, go ahead. Okay, I'll tell you. I believe I'm, I'm talking I'm talking to you on your cell phone, right? I believe I'm yes, talking to you on yes, your cell phone, yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. And I believe you, you, do, you do have a camera in your phone, right? You do have a camera in your phone, correct? A camera, correct? Yes. Okay, what do you have to do? I'll give you my direct number. Write down my direct number. It's 929. Wait a minute. Slow down, sir. 929. Okay. 419. 419. 8754. 8754. Okay. What am I going to do with this now number? Listen, what I'm telling you, this is my direct number, okay? So what do you have to do? I'm going to send you a text message from my direct number, okay? What do you have to do, Mr. Arnie? You have to take a photo of your ID proof, which you're going to show it to the officer on Monday, okay? And you have to send it to me on my direct number. Because that ID how proof, do I'm going to call that? it to I don't the legal know how department. to do that and still talk on the I phone. Will, I, I, will I will teach you how to do it, okay? Just relax, okay? Okay. Just make sure you don't say anything to your brother, Eddie, okay? Eddie, Listen, okay. Uh, did you got a text? Go ahead. Why are you calling Eddie again and again? Let him... <laughs> okay, did you got a text message from my number? I don't know. Let me look. No, I didn't. You will get a text message. Hi, this... You will get a text message. Hi, this is Sean Taylor. Let's see. Not yet. I haven't got nothing. Okay, you didn't got it? Okay, uh, you will get it in a moment, okay? Let's uh, hold on for a second, okay? Okay. You will get it in a moment, okay? No, hold on Eddie, me. Eddie, please, please. See, just, just see. Did you get the message? You would have got a message, okay? A text message. No, it's Did not. you get the message? The no, text message? did you send it to this number? Okay, I'm, I will do that again, okay? Just hold on, it's right? Three Just hold one on. Five Don't say anything, hold on. Seven, yeah, hold eight. on. Like, give me a second, okay? Okay. Give me a second. I'm going to send you a text message, okay? See, just keep one thing in mind. Try to keep this case secret, okay? Okay. You, you don't have to say anything to to Eddie anymore and again and again don't call Eddie and tell him don't say anything to anyone okay, Eddie, don't, don't do that Eddie, okay? don't say nothing you know, about that. again you're doing that again you're doing that are you mad why are you calling Eddie who the hell is he well I just like to keep him posted when I'm telling you don't say anything to Eddie why again and again you're calling Eddie I don't care what he's doing but you don't have to say each and everything to Eddie okay okay what I'm telling you, just stop talking to him. You Again and again, you're saying, Eddie, don't do this. Eddie, don't do that. Well, I have to keep this? an eye on him. I told you, he's not right. Is he mad? Yes. Well, not oh, he, mad. Is he disabled? Oh, is he? He got hit in the head with okay. a brick. Why would, why would you be if he got hit in the head with a brick? It was like from four stories up. Okay, now what exactly he do? What's he do? Nothing. He's on disability. Just sit and just... Oh, he's on disability, okay. Now, you will get a text message, okay, from my number. Okay. I will tell you how to send me a copy of your ID, okay? Okay. I will tell you that, okay? Now, did you got a... See, you will get a message from my number. I am... Just see. Did you got it? Here. No. Oh, wait a minute. In a Here's moment, one. you will get it. Hi. Hi. Yeah, click on the Hi. message. Okay. Yeah, Th click on Hi, the message. Hi, this is Sean yes, Taylor. Hi, this is Sean Taylor. I got okay, two did of you them. Yes, I did that. So, did you open the message? Is it open? The yeah, message is open? Yes, hi, I'm Sean Taylor. Okay, now, okay, okay, listen. At the, so, when you open my message, at the left-hand side at the bottom, do you see a small camera sign or a plus sign? Do you see that? A small camera sign or a plus sign? There's a, it says G-I-F. There's a smiley guy. And it looks like a camera. I don't know what it is. Okay, I got it. Yeah, this is the camera part. So click on, uh, okay, click on the camera. Once you click on the camera, you get an option of take photo, okay? Then take a photo of your driving license. Once you take a photo, on the right-hand side, you will see an option of sending it, okay? An arrow sign. Click on that. I will receive it, okay? Okay. Just do that. All right. And let me know. And don't discuss about the case. Do it. Eddie, don't worry about this, okay? I'll tell him. Eddie, again, Eddie, again, Eddie. Who the hell is he? I told you he's my cousin, sir. Okay, I do. I don't care. You just send me a photo. I got to get my license out of my wallet. Okay, I'm holding the line. Just grab your license. Okay, let me grab it. Did you get it? 
Just hold the line. Let me check it out, okay? Okay. I'm going to break down the motherfucker. Eddie, Eddie, please be quiet. I just sent my license here. Hello? Yes, did you get it? Okay, how did you send it, Mano? How did you do it, Mano? I clicked on that thing you told me to click on, and then I took a picture, okay. and then it said send. Okay, so do one thing. Uh, I didn't receive it yet, and what number did you send, Mano? Nine, nine two nine four one nine eight seven five four. Okay, I got it, okay? You got it? Give me a second, okay? Okay. Now, no, no, I'm, I'm going to... Hold on, hold on. Oh, okay. Now listen, now you heard the first protocol, what I said to you, right? You're not allowed to discuss about the case, okay? Right, I'll tell, any Eddie. Third I'll person, tell Eddie not tell to Monday, tell okay? nobody. Eddie, okay. Eddie. Again, you're telling... Oh, my God, who... You, hey, hey, hey. Stop saying that. Uh, oh, oh, Eddie, please. Don't talk like that. Don't. Okay, go ahead. I'm telling you... You're not allowed to say, <laughs> do one thing. Yes. I did not receive the photo yet, okay? I didn't okay. receive it. Okay. What I'm going to do, I'm going to hang up the line, okay? I'm going to hang up the line. Then you try to send me a photo again, okay? I'm going to try. I think, I, number, I, think okay? I got it. I think I got it. Wait a minute. Let me look. No, because I didn't receive. See, I believe I'm talking to you. Or the did you get it? You scamming bastard? Huh? Hey, Sean Taylor, you... I didn't receive it yet. Oh, you scamming bastard. I didn't receive it yet. It'll be there in a minute. I didn't receive it. Yeah, you got it, you fuck stick. I didn't receive it. You what did too, you, you dumb fuck. Don't say you didn't receive it. It says you got it. Put you, that dick you, in your mom's ass. You <laughs> scamming bastard. <laughs> you motherfucker. We are not able to take your call right now. Goodbye. <laughs> Text now subscriber you are trying to reach is not available. Please leave your message after the tone. Sean Taylor, go fuck yourself, you asshole. <laughs> Social Security Administration, can I help you? Yes, I was talking to Sean Taylor and I sent him a copy of my license and we got disconnected. Hold on. Okay. Hello. Oh. Is this Sean no, Taylor? This is Sean Taylor. Can I help Sean you? Sean Taylor. I just want to let you know you're an asshole and a scamming bastard. How's that? We are not able to take your call okay, right now. You fuck Goodbye. Stick. We are not able to take your call right now. Goodbye.